Welcome back to City of Allen Fishing. Blogspot.com. I'd like to uh, talk to y'all about uh, some of the fishing flies that we've been using for the rainbow trout that we've caught at the Lower Mountain Fork, Rivers Bend State Park, as well as Blue River and Turner Falls. All cases are all in Oklahoma, uh, though we're based here in Texas. Uh, we've been finding that that we've been having some good luck going across the border and heading up to Oklahoma and uh, fishing for some rainbow trout. Uh, starting things off, here's what we have. Uh, to the left here, you'll see some olive near deer. It's a good pattern on a basically a jig fly. And then we also have gold rib hares ear nymph. And then zebra midges. And what we've done is, is we either fish them either by themselves or we'll tie the near deer and then trail the gold rib hares ear nymph or the zebra midge um, behind the near deer. And uh, when they're biting, sometimes they'll hit the near deer. Other times, when they're real picky, they'll start hitting the uh, trailing fishing fly, be it the gold rib, the zebra nymph, or the zebra midge. So far, we've done pretty good with um, these fishing flies. And what I'd like to do today is just uh, uh, show some of our readers and viewers uh, how we uh, how we tie these, and maybe it might be uh, helpful for those that uh, like to give it a shot when they hit uh, their area for some rainbow trout. Alrighty, so uh, let's go ahead and shift over to our first fishing fly. This will be the gold rib hare's ear nymph. Alright, let's uh, start out with the gold rib hare's ear nymph and how we tie it. We're starting out with the nymph sprout hook, size 14. Uh, it's from Mustad, model number is S80-3906. Um, again, it's a size 14 hook. Uh, and then the gold bead that we're using is a 3 and 32nd inch uh, gold bead. And what you see here is, is we've got the uh, bead threaded onto the hook, we've got it into the vise, and we're getting ready to go on to our second step. We start uh, wrapping a base of Dacron uh, tying thread. In this case, we're using an olive, but um, we've used black as well. Uh, either one works. And what we've done is just wrap it up and down the uh, uh, start or uh, where the uh, start of the bend of the hook is, and then come back up just a little bit more. And then uh, we'll get a piece of some hairs ear mask and then um, put the guard hairs on the uh, back of the hook here so that uh, it'll start forming the tail. And then we'll tie that in, and put it in place so it doesn't come off. And then we'll put in some wire, some very thin wire. Then we'll start forming the body using some dubbing. And you can see where we've wrapped it onto the uh, thread we're getting ready to form the body. Here we've uh, formed the body and we start working our way forward wrapping it from the back to the front. Now we're securing the wire over the body. We'll trim that and then we'll tie that down and also uh, bring back our thread just about an eye length back from behind the bead. And then we'll take some pheasant tail fibers, about three to five, tie that in place. And then again, we'll form some more dubbing to start thickening up the thorax. And once we've built that up, we'll lay our line uh, just behind the bead and then we'll form the pheasant tail we'll start forming the back right here and tie that down as well and then we'll trim it and then put a little bit of lacquer here and there and then we'll take um, some a, a dubbing brush and kind of thicken it up and kind of make it look buggy looking and that's pretty much it the gold rib hair's ear nymph and how we tie it Okay, uh, next time that we're going to tie, we're going to show you how we tie the zebra midge. And in this case, uh, we're using some black uh, Dacron tying thread. We've got some ultra wire, same one that we used uh, for the gold rib hairs here, nymph. Um, also has some zappa gap. And then um, this is some new skin band aid, whatever deal that we use. Um, sort of like a liquid band aid, but it's the same thing as uh, tough as nails, nail polish. Um, basically, something to form a, a good cover over red wrap and the ultra wire once the tie is uh, completed. And again, it's a very simple one.
Like uh, in the Gold Ribs Harrier Nymph, we were using a 332nd inch gold bead head. For the hook, we were using a size 14 status and this one is a Mustad model C49S. Similar to that, we also use the same model, a caddis curved uh, Mustad hook in size 12. Uh, so good to keep in mind that you have both of them um, ready to go because you're not sure what the fish will be wanting to bite. And so having both sizes is a pretty good, pretty good uh, uh, thing to have. All right, so here's uh, where we've got the, uh, the hook in the vise and the gold bead head threaded on. We're laying down a base of thread and we'd like taking it down um, past the, the uh, bend in the hook and right where you see it's starting to curve right here. So not all the way down to the past the curve but pretty much uh, a good ways down from it. And what we're thinking of is trying to form a little mid-shaped uh, body that um, looks like the uh, looks like uh, other midges that are floating around in the water and whatnot. All right, so once we have that base uh, laid down, then we'll put the uh, gold rib or ultra wire and get that one secured in place. Usually give it a little extra here where we tie it in and then we'll uh, begin our wraps back over here. And then we just start forming the body. And we're just thinking of uh, forming that midge body that you see in pictures and whatnot. right here, right behind the gold bead head. And then we'll start wrapping the ribbing so that's evenly spaced all the way up to just behind, about a, about an eye length or, or um, an eye length of width right here is where we'll stop the ribbing. And then we'll just start forming thread behind the bead head just to cover up and secure the um, gold rib in place. And then we'll put some so that zap a gap here across the whole body let that dry it dries fairly quickly um, once it's dry then we'll put on uh, some of the uh, nail polish or in this case you were seeing that uh, liquid band-aid that we use and that's pretty much it okay very simple easy to tie um, hook gold bead head the dacron line ultra wire Zappa Gap and new skin. Sometimes uh, you don't even need to use Zappa Gap. Uh, we just like using it just to make it a little bit stronger. And bottom line, you get you a nice little zebra midge. That when the trout are wanting to eat these, that's what they'll be hitting. And that's our zebra midge. All right, next up in the uh, uh, flies that we were going to show you today is the near deer. And this is an olive near deer pattern that we learned from Harpin Fly, one of the fishing guides that posts on the Texas Fishing Forum. It's a very simple tie. And what we found has uh, been very effective, pretty much out fishing other fishing flies that we're using. And in this case, what we're using is a little jig, about 180th ounce. We've also used 124th, 1 and 124th ounce uh, jigs as well. And what we do is we'll start out with placing the um, jig on the vise, lay a base of thread, similar like we do with other fishing flies. And what this reminds me is this is really tying like a woolly bugger, um, but using a jig. Uh, instead of a, just a normal hook. All right, and then we'll uh, take a, an olive marabou plume and we'll make it to sometimes the same length as the fishing fly or sometimes uh, about a length and a quarter or a length and a half. In this case, this one's about a length and a quarter. And what we've done is, is we've tied it down um, just where the point of the hook would um, be adjacent to. And once we have it tied down, we'll trim it and then we'll tie it down just a little bit more just to secure it in place. Then we'll tie in the gold rib right here or that ultra wire. We've used gold, we've used uh, copper, we've also used silver and really you just play it by ear. In this case, we're using gold ultra wire because it seems to be a very consistent one for us as well as when we tied the zebra midge and when we tied the gold rib hairs ear nymph, we had that available for us. So it just makes things a little bit easier when you're tying a bunch of these uh, in preparation for a fishing trip. All right, so next thing is, is we'll tie in some uh, grizzly uh, hackle. And what we do is, is we'll uh, tie it here in preparation to tie it armoring aisle versus uh, fly. And once we have it secured in place, we'll just uh, tie it down a little bit more. And then we'll put in some chenille. In this case, we're using a, a kind of a 
flashy olive chenille. Um, what we've done also is, is we've picked off a few of the fibers so that bare thread or bare line clear of any of the fibers and we can get it tied in here without uh, it being too bulky looking. And then afterwards we'll just wrap it forward and we've got a rotary vise so we'll just use that uh, to wrap it forward over here to the head of the jig. We'll get that tied down. Um, usually put a a half hitch here at this point and then trim and then, uh, we'll take the grizzly hackle and move it forward and palmer in a palmer technique and then we'll tie that off and then afterwards we'll bring in the gold rib ultra wire um, ribbing into the uh, threads to help secure that in place we'll trim that and get that one tied off with a whip finish and here's our near deer very effective fly we found and far um, tied it in an olive. We've tied them in white and we've tied them in size 180th as well as 1 and 124th ounce. And in all cases, uh, seem to be a consistent producer of the rainbow trout. So do keep this in mind. Uh, these are one of the three fishing flies that we like having in our fly box when we do some rainbow trout fishing. Most recently, here is a, a limited trout that we got at uh, Turner Falls. These took the near deer. So, till next time, we'll catch y'all later and good luck and good fishing.